365 days of horsemanship, day 247. Um, yeah, good day today. I did end up having my dominant day as intended. Um, I did not achieve everything I intended to achieve, but I'm really happy with what I achieved and I feel really good about it. Um, so that's really good. Um, came to Mia first with the intention of haltering, saddle on, in arena, riding. And I wanted to get as far along that journey as possible. What I ended up doing was haltering her and moving her around in the field. And that happened because like, even when I'm playing with dominance now, like I will work with a tolerant yes and ask a question, ask questions I can get yes answers to. And if I can't get a yes answer to the question, I'll ask a different question. Um, and then I'll go back to the question later on, but I will never push it past like a solid no. Um, because I don't like, I just don't want to, like there's plenty else to kind of like work on. So what happened with Mia, it took me a while to halt her, just kind of playing around. She was really distracted by the environment today um, and a little bit anxious about it. There was some concern about the environment. Um, so it was kind of just about like redirecting energy. Um, I was just like pushing energy at her like like uh, hind end and then her forequarters. She's doing like hind quarter yields and forequarter yields um, and stopping when we changed focus. Um, and yeah, eventually then I was able to put the halter over her neck and then I played a little bit with rocking her neck until she would like turn around to me. Um, played with that a couple times, uh, eventually managed to put the halter on and started walking up. Um, and basically there was a lot of stopping. She was very concerned about staying up near the hay bale. And it was a really strong, like, no. Um, obviously compared to, like, I could have made her do it. Um, it wasn't so strong that it was like, like impossible, but I also don't want to push her into that place, you know? So it's like, okay, like, let's try some other stuff. Like, are there other questions you can say yes to? Like, okay, can you yield your hindquarters then? Can we move you this way? Can we move that way? Just kind of like unstick your feet a little bit. And I could do all of that stuff and that was kind of going well, but it wasn't making any difference to us being able to walk down. Um, so then I started trotting, um, trotted with her a bit in the field and basically was just waiting for the stress to come down with the trotting. And eventually the stress really came down. We blew out and I stopped there with the trotting and walked immediately back to the hay because I wanted to really reward that by like the minute that she stopped thinking about the hay bale, going back to the hay bale. And immediately that I got there, she's like licking and chewing, yawning, yawning, licking and chewing, like massive stress release and so I was happy with that I was like okay cool like things aren't really going to get better than that today I'm not going to have a better moment than that level of stress release um and yeah like I could have I could have stayed longer and continued to work on like the rest of it basically I could have tried again I could have put her by the hay bale we could have been by the hay bale for a bit then I could have gone back out again and played again and come back again um and yeah, and that would have been fine. But as it was, um, I think I was happy with where I left things. Um, so yeah, went to Lawrence um, and in my head, I'm like, okay, I would like to bring him up, bring him into the arena and just play at Liberty and see what's going on. Um, managed to halter him quite quickly. Um, and that was, it was a nice soft halter actually. Um, and then we started walking down the hill and again, lots of stopping. So I started with some hind quarter yields and four quarter yields. Um, and then we did a bit of trotting um, and again, just waiting for the stress to come down. And as soon as the stress came down, then we stopped and we had a nice little think about everything and a lick and chew. And then I um, was sort of like sat with him while he was processing things afterwards and he had another nice little lick and chew. So it was good. And I felt really comfortable about the pressure I'd put on I felt that I had I had achieved for myself a session that was fun and exciting for me like we played with some different stuff than we had the days before 
um and that was really nice um because i was feeling a bit burnt out yesterday and i like i wasn't really making any progress with anything and everything was just getting really difficult so then to really switch it up today and do something totally different was really motivating and i was really excited and i had lots of energy and i was feeling playful so that was going really well um and so i got what i wanted out of the session because obviously i could have come up and rode and stuff like that and that would have been great but i think i was just as happy in the end with the session which is also a really nice mindset to be in because i came up against some boundaries and some issues and i feel like i made a positive impact on those issues so that's really good um i was happy with how that all went um with both horses and i would feel confident coming back and playing again tomorrow with that um and hopefully getting a better get you know playing with that for a few days and i'd be happy with that i would feel like that was okay you know um so so yeah so that's good um i think with mia the only challenge is um potentially not going back to the hay bale necessarily it, it showed her that i understood what she wanted um yeah i don't know don't know need to think on that i'll see what I'm, i'll see what i turn up with tomorrow tomorrow i'm on a really long shift so i'm gonna be up late in the evening so i don't know how much time i'll have what i'll really want to do i'm quite motivated to bring the whole trip again and kind of anticipate a similar style of session um so we'll just see really what we're met with tomorrow i think um yeah but no good session actually good sessions of both horses um i think yeah good to feel good good to feel good about being more dominant i felt like the horses were really perceptive to it i felt like i did a good job of asking yes questions and getting things done and not putting too much pressure on um and not pushing through things and i was like the only reason that i want to play dominantly is to exercise their bodies i achieved that goal you know with me a yes i would also like to ride because i like riding um but that's not like that's not the only goal you know so it was good it was good i was happy so so yeah bring on tomorrow <laughs>